hey, good morning. We've done a lot of relaxing. We've tried a lot of food so far, but now it's time to get our feet dirty, do some hard work. We're gonna go and hike at the Botanical Gardens. We've still got quite a long way to go, so I'm gonna catch some sleep because I think I'm gonna need it a bit later on. I'll see you there. Let's go Botanical Gardens, Woo! The Penang Botanical Garden is about 8km from Georgetown. It's a well landscaped place that contains a huge variety of plant species. We are here at checkpoint number 5 at Moon Gate. We want to go all the way to the top but unfortunately it's a long way. We've hiked so much and we've got so much more to see at Penang so we can't go all the way to the top. At the moment now, I'm going to just go here have a little chill, enjoy the nice air and enjoy the breeze for a while before we have to hike right down and get some food. So let's chill for a bit. Ah, <sighs> that was a good breather. Now off to find some food. So after the thought of feeling quite hungry and I went on my phone to check out the places where to eat close by, and it turns out there's a place right next to it. It's called the Esplanade Park. And on my phone it said there's three things that are famous here. The chicken chop, the mi sotong, not mi, mi sotong. Mi in um, Malaysia means noodles. And also the coconut milkshake, which looks really good with ice cream inside as well. I'm gonna go for this first because I'm feeling really thirsty. The chicken chop has just enough crunch to it. And the mi sotong was spicy and a little bit sweet. So it's just nice. And when I like to travel, I actually like to see the history of the town and what it's all about. So I asked some locals, what's a good place to come to? And they told me to come to this place here called Fort Cornwallis. I don't know what it is, what's inside, but apparently it's going to tell me a bit more about the history of Penang. So let's see what we can find inside. Fort Cornwallis was named after the Governor General in Bengal, Charles Cornwallis. It is one of the most interesting landmarks in Georgetown, which was used as a military base for the British to protect their interests in the region against a possible French attack. Hello there, my name is Colonel Sergeant Thomas Stewart, and I used to be the colonel here back in the 1890s. Now, this is our land in Penang. We once ruled this country, and then we settled here for many thousands of years. I could talk all day, but I'm very, very hungry, so I'm going to go and get some Maggie Rain. Thank you very much. The second must-see artifact would be the infamous Sri Rambai Cannon. This cannon was originally a gift from the Dutch to the Sultan of Johor in 1606. After all that sightseeing, it's time for some dinner. This is a night market in Aie Hitam. So yeah, this market um, looks pretty cool. There's lots of stores. I've got 50 ringgit here, so let's see what I can find with this. There's like food, there's clothes, there's lots of things. So maybe I'll ask some of the locals and see what is the best thing to buy. Hello, Satu King Squid. This place is like a maze, there's like things everywhere. It's not just like roads, it's like shop here, shop here, shop here. It's like a puzzle, but it's really interesting because there's so many different things. More underwear. Wow. So refreshing that is. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Pineapple cakes, and that's it. 50 ringgit are gone, so uh, I think it's money well spent. I got a drink, I got two main foods, I got pineapple cakes, I got a charger, I got something to make the car smell nice for 50 ringgit. And so, you know, in England, 50 ringgit is around um, eight pounds, and eight pounds will just get you one meal. So I think I've done really well today. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the market, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my pineapple cakes. It's great to be out in Penang late at night. It's almost midnight and the city is still alive. This is Lee Challen. She's a local here and she was kind enough to take me to a nice place for some good supper. Wonton mee. Jilai. 
One song means delay. Delay, yeah. Say. Yeah, that's all. One song means delay, yeah. Say. One song means delay, say. So, okay, basically it means one time me, one, and small one. Okay. So this looks like a feast. I'm so, so, so hungry and I'm so excited. Thank you so much for showing me this No food. problem. Actually, there's more, but I don't want to feed you like Could a pig. Can we eat more than this? Yes. <laughs> so just to, just to round up, we got the wonton meat here. Over here, yes. The curry. Curry meat. Curry meat. Yep. And we have a kway teow. Cha kway teow, yes. Right. I think we should get started, right? This is called the wonton. The wonton? It's quite crispy, it's got that batter on it. Right. And then you, you blend it in with the noodles, then you have fresh vegetables, you have the pork as well. So everything together is such a good combination because it's not the same. So every mouth bite is something different. That's what I like about it. There's two types of wontons. They have it boiled and then there's the crispy one. But usually they only give one crispy one because that's like the best. <laughs> This was the best supper to end the day with. I gotta head home, get some rest for tomorrow's adventure. Oh my god, I tell you what, I've ate so much and you know what, I'm so happy I found you tonight and I managed to try all this amazing Chinese blank food. It was so good. Oh, thank you, thank you. Like, Susie, thank you so much for your no time problem. and uh, we'll keep in touch. Right. And yeah, thank you so much. It's been amazing and seriously, I can go I'm back now glad. and say I've tried the best food in Canada. I'm glad you had fun, okay? Uh, please get some rest. And I'll see you next time. See you soon, yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya.